Hey guys, I just wanted to shoot a quick little cautionary tale of uh, these ammo boxes um, that I had purchased to use um, for battery storage. Um, now the good news is I don't have a huge battery surplus and um, this isn't a complete failure, but I, I would definitely offer a cautionary warning about um, using using these for this method. Um, and I, I think what initially drew me to it is kind of the the nice um, OCD type method of being able to have an individual bay for every battery. Um, and you can see for the double A's, I'm going with the RSDL 50, which is kind of like the 223 or 556 size um, cartridge. And then for the triple A's, I'd gone with, um, I think this is just called the RS100. Um, yeah, I don't think they give you a better. Yeah, it's it's again like two two three size and whatnot. Um, but you know, um, they're both just called case cards. And um, I, I guess I, I kind of like them. It, it allows you to separate them out, and you can see that I have several here on the AAA side that um, have corroded pretty well. And. Um, it's nice because I kept them isolated so it, it didn't ruin other batteries um, next to them. Um, and honestly, these batteries were pretty old, you know, if, if I look at the date on them. Um, December 2025, so th these weren't something I bought yesterday. Um, that being said, they haven't expired yet, so it's a little frustrating to see so many of them that have corroded. And I think my complaint here is now that I have these bad batteries, I can go and pull them out. Um, but unfortunately, and you can kind of see down here, um, it's leaving all this corrosion behind, which means that I now have to somehow, I think what I'll do is I'll just put, um, something in its place, maybe like a little piece of a straw or a little wooden dollar, just something to indicate, don't put a battery in the cell because obviously you don't want to go and put a new battery, um, in the place of one that already has a bunch of corrosion sitting on the bottom. And I, that is kind of what I'm getting at here is there's no way, good way to clean that corrosion out in the bottom, sort of maybe using Q-tips, but th that's going to be a long process. Um, and for that reason, I, I can't recommend using these for a long-term type storage. Um, I think another flaw in my thought was I was kind of trying to go for kind of like a first in, first out method towards batteries where, you know, I'd have a couple hundred batteries or a couple of years worth of batteries on hand at a time. Um, but that means you're always going to be pulling your oldest batteries first, um, which would be fine if it was just, you know, maybe 50 batteries or a pack or something. But when you have a couple years worth of batteries on hand, that means you're always going to be pulling the batteries that are the weakest or closest to expiring. And that's causing me to kind of rethink my concept. Uh, so I, I don't really have a perfect solution yet. Um, I, I do like a few things about this setup. First of all, um, they do stack well. They're not hermetically sealed. So um, if there's any gases, um, they can off gas slowly over time. Um, and these cases are pretty expensive. I think they're around five bucks or something. Um, and they allow for quick inventory. Um, one thing I should point out, I don't want to do it with this one, um, but you, you can actually flip it over and the batteries will stick up, but they don't actually come loose. Um, it's less of an issue in this one, um, but being as I don't have any corroded, I don't feel bad doing that with these. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I think I'm going to have to keep looking for a better solution. I don't want to be having to buy, you know, re the relatively expensive four cell type battery containers. Um, but yeah, I I'm going to have to keep looking because th this is not a good solution for me. And I'm kind of glad I tried it in a micro experiment of just a hundred batteries versus um, doing the, you know, the, the, the couple hundred that I have of each type. Um, and yeah, if it, when these corrode, you're going to have to block off the old cell. So if you have any recommendations for a better way to store batteries, and I know there's a lot of um, discussion about, you know, whether you could store them in a freezer or something like that. My understanding is for alkalines, it really doesn't help them. Not that it hurts, um, but then you have to be aware of the fact that they're in a high humidity, humidity environment. 
Um, so yeah, it's just, I need to figure out a better solution to the battery storage because as you can see here, even if I were to go and repurpose this, mark out the ones that are bad cells, I've now lost 10% on this. Um, and, and, and anything more than just frustrating, you're going to have to be able to either clean this out somehow really well, maybe like, um, using baking soda, um, and some sort of a neutralizer and then running it through dishwasher, maybe that would work. Um, but this clearly isn't the ultimate solution for me, and I, I'm going to have to keep looking. Um, so feel free to post any suggestions and discussion, discussion below. Otherwise, have a good night. Thanks.